In this short video, now that we know how to calculate the slopes of a line, or the slope of a line, we can now find an equation, an algebraic equation for a line. And we'll start with the formula for the slope. So I'm still going to have a fixed point, x1, y1, but instead of having a fixed second point, I'm just going to have this generic point, x and y. So x and y are going to be variables now. And if I uh, know the slope of a line as well, then I can come up with a formula in x and y for the line. That formula would be its equation. So start with your formula for the slope, and then I'm going to go ahead and multiply both sides by the denominator to clear the fractions. And on the right-hand side, I have a form of 1. That's how I wind up clearing the fraction. And then I can see that the result is the, this formula, y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. So that's a little abstract. Let's look at an example, right? We call this the point-slope form because we're given the a point and we're given the slope. All right, so we want to find an equation of a line with slope 2 and passing through negative 2, comma 17. Now, I want to emphasize this word an, an equation, because there are many forms of writing down uh, an equation of a line. So uh, we're going to write the point-slope form, but we're going to learn that there's other forms as well. So I've got my m value. I have my x1 and my y1. Now I just need to substitute them into the formula. And that gives me my equation. Now, I don't like to leave this minus a minus, so I am going to clean that up. And this is a perfectly acceptable answer when it says find an equation. This is an equation for that line. But we could simplify further. And if we're told to simplify or, or to write it in a different way, we will we'll have to do that. And so uh, just for practice, let's go ahead and do that. We'll re remove the parentheses using the distributive property. I'll add 17 to each side now, and then I'll solve it for y. y equals 2x plus 41. So what we did in the end there, where we solved it for y, we could do that in general. I could take the same steps starting from my formula. I could remove parentheses. Let's use the distributive property. Now I've got mx minus mx1. And then I could add y1 to each side. And so I get y equals mx plus all of this, y1 minus mx1. Now, y1 is given, m1 has to be given, x1 has to be given. Those are all numbers. And so we could just combine them into a single number that we're going to call b. So I'll get y equals mx plus b. Now that b value, that number b, has a special meaning because if I put in 0 for x, this term goes away, and I just have y equals b. So 0 comma b would be the y-intercept of the line. I want to emphasize here that the number b is not the y-intercept. Y-intercepts are not numbers. They are points. So the y-intercept is 0 comma b. But this number b tells us what the y-intercept is. And so this form of, the, of an equation for a line is called the slope-intercept form. So let's see here. If I've got an equation and I want to uh, find the slope and the y-intercept, 
what I can do is solve for y, whatever number is multiplied times x, that is your slope, and then the constant will be the y-coordinate of the y-intercept. So let's go through and solve for y. I'll have to subtract 2x from each side. And then I'm going to divide every term by 3. So I am taking a little shortcut here. Normally we'd want to make one big fraction here. So normally I might want to make divide both sides by 3. But I went ahead and distributed this division to both terms on the right-hand side. And so I have negative 2 thirds times x, and then negative 12 divided by 3. That simplifies to negative 4. So that tells me that the slope the number multiplied by x here is negative 2 thirds, and the y-intercept is 0, comma, negative 4. Again, the y-intercept is a point. It has an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. It's written inside parentheses, and so our y-intercept is 0, comma, 4, negative 4. All right, uh, now we're at the point we have enough information to uh, find an equation of a line given two points on that line. So we have to start, no matter what we do, by finding the slope. So let me go ahead and label the points, my x1, y1, x2, y2, put it into the formula for the slope. And wind up with 14 over 14, which is the same as 1. So the slope is 1. So now I have two options. The question doesn't tell me to find one form or the other. So let's do both just to practice. Let's find it in point slope form. So I've got the slope. I have an x1, y1. Let's just put it into the equation and clean it up a little bit. So y minus 4 equals x plus 2. Or I have a second option. I could find slope-intercept form. And how do I do that? Well, I have two points where I know the x and y value. I'll use the first one. I can substitute x equals negative 2, y equals 4, into y equals mx plus b. So I'm going to put m equals 1, x equals negative 2, y equals 4. And then I'll solve this equation for b. I just need to add 2 to both sides. So b will equal 6. So the equation in slope-intercept form would be y equals x plus 6, which is going to be exactly the same equation I would get in my first option if I add 4 to both sides. I can also find uh, an equation from a graph. Again, what are the things that I need to know? I need to know the slope in any case. And either I need to know a point on the line, or I need to know the y-coordinate of the y-intercept. So in my first line, line A here, uh, I actually know the uh, y-intercept is uh, positive 5. Uh, but I could use any of these other points and use the slope-intercept form. But I'm going to use, just to practice, the uh, yeah, I mean, sorry. I could use the point slope form. I'm going to use the slope intercept form for practice. So first we have to get this, the uh, slope. And I'm going to just use counting. I'm just going to go ahead and pick two points. And then see that I'm going to go one up. And then to get to the next point, one right. 
So my slope is going to be 1 over 1, or 1. And then we can see that the uh, intercept is at 0, 5, the y-intercept. And so I know that b equals 5. And so my equation is y equals 1x plus 5. But 1x is the same as just writing x. So y equals x plus 5. All right. In the blue line, part b, again, I'll need to pick two good points. So I can pick this one and this one. Uh, I'm going one, two, three, four down. And then one to the right. And so that's how I get four down is negative four. One to the right would be positive one or simply negative four. Now here, I don't know the y-intercept is somewhere, but it's way, way off the grid. Uh, so I'm just going to have to use the uh, point slope form here. And I can pick either one of those points or even another point. Um, and so uh, I'll use uh, the point uh, 5 comma 2, this point right here. 5 comma 2, that's my x1, y1. And I put it into the uh, point slope form. And I can just leave it like that. All right. So let's uh, do a little bit more practice here. Uh, in my, uh, I have three lines here, A, B, and C. So A, the blue line, let's go ahead and uh, use counting again for my slope. So I'll pick two good points. Oops. So I guess those were not the points that I used. Let's get rid of that one. I must have been using that one and maybe this one here because I have shown that there are two up and then I'm going four to the right. That's how I got two over four. So those are two good points. I could have chosen other points and maybe got one over two directly, or I could have got three over six, but that all simplifies to one over two. Uh, and then I can see here that the intercept, it intersects the origin, which means the y-intercept is 0, comma, 0. And so using the uh, slope-intercept form, I would get uh, b equals 0, so y equals 1 half x plus 0, or just simply y equals 1 half x. Now in b, I have a horizontal line. So I know its slope is 0, and I know the intercept is here at negative 3. And so I can use the um, slope-intercept form, and I'll get y equals 0x minus 3, or y equals negative 3. But we should learn that a horizontal line has an equation written as y equals some number, and that number is the y-coordinate of every point on the line. So I could have done no work, just looked at this and said, oh, this is a horizontal line. The y-coordinate of every point is negative 3. So the equation is y equals negative 3. And that's what we'll do with the vertical line. But we know it's going to be the x-coordinate is going to be the same. All the x-coordinates are uh, six, and I don't have an option to use any of my uh, equations here because the slope is undefined, but I know that this is going to be a vertical line. The equation for a vertical line is x equals some number, and the x-coordinate of every point on that line is x equals six. 
So in summary, we've got for slanting lines, we have a point slope form and a slope intercept form. If we have a vertical line, remember that it means that the uh, slope is undefined. Its equation is going to look like x equals some number. And for a horizontal line where the slope is 0, you get y equals some number.